Shawty a little baddie. She my little boo thing. She's only from the bed. Hey guys, and welcome back to whatever you want to call this. <laughs> This is going to be my self-maintenance routine. I had literally just woken up from a nap and it was like 9 or 10 p.m. So bear with me. This is going to be my routine for my brows, tinting, my eyelashes, as well as my brows and also some in-depth skincare. And I am so excited to show you guys. All right, let's get straight into this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Okay, I like to first start off by washing my face. Just start with a clean slate. I'm going in with the Bior Blue Agave and Baking Soda Cleanser. Nothing special. I'm just going to be working this in for a minute, making sure I get those spots that I usually neglect on a regular basis and just really get my skin clean. Now that I've washed my face, I like to go ahead and apply this salicylic acid mask from The Ordinary. I think this mask is doing something. I've only just started using it and I think I need to be more consistent. As you can tell, I've been using it a lot, but yeah, I just apply this to my trouble areas with blackheads. that sit while I let a mask sit I'll also try and just tweeze my brows just clean them up before we actually have to shape them and trim them as you can tell I was trying to get a specific hair I was so focused <laughs> got it yeah but yeah I just like to clean up my brows while this sits on my face and would you look at that it's time to rinse already After I rinse that off, I'm going in with a, another face mask. Now, this is an OG face mask of mine, and it is the Aztec Indian Healing Clay mixed with apple cider vinegar. Now, this works wonders on your hair and your skin, and as you can tell, I'm running out of this. I literally only had that much. It was so sad, but yeah. That's all I had, and I just mix it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar just to make a thin paste. I prefer a thin paste because it's easier to wash off if you just have this layer of clay on your face. It's gonna be painful. Like, it does exfoliate, but it shouldn't be like ripping your skin off. So, I'd advise you put a thin layer on. Few moments later. Okay, after that's dried down and I can barely move my face, I'm going to go ahead and rinse that off. It's kind of exfoliating and it's kind of nice. Anyways, after that, I like to shave my face. Now, I've only started doing this this year and I've noticed the improvement in makeup application, skin glow, and I get to clean up my sideburns. This razor is from Priceline. I'm pretty sure it's Revlon brand. But yeah, I just basically hold the skin tight and start working my way down in downward motion, sorry. But yeah, as you can see, there's some peach fuzz, bum fluff, whatever you want to call it. And that's basically what we're trying to get rid of. Make sure you are super gentle and make sure the blade is sharp. You want to be throwing these out every couple of uses. But another thing I wanted to bring up is make sure you're wearing sunscreen after you do this because your skin is so much more vulnerable to the sun after shaving it. So I definitely recommend a good 50 plus sunscreen to protect your skin. Okay, next is brows and I like to use tweezers, cuticle scissors, a razor and a spoolie. And yeah, 
I basically just start by brushing my brows up because that's what I usually do with my makeup. So if I trim them the way I'm going to have them in the day, then that's going to help with my overall outcome. Brushing them up and trimming the top. Sis, you have no idea how much this will change the game for you if you can't do your own eyebrows and you're in quarantine right now. Just brush them up and trim the top in a straight way and it's going to look like you have new eyebrows, I swear. But yeah, I just do that to both brows and tweeze in between and just see what works. Okay, I'm going in with the razor and just cleaning up underneath and around the brows. This can help really shape your brows, especially with those little hairs that you can't really tweeze or see. And it gets rid of all that shadowing, so definitely recommend you guys using this tool when you are grooming your brows okay after all that shaving and tweezing and plucking I'm gonna be applying some jojoba and rosehip oil or well, rosehip and jojoba as it says on the thing this is just going to come and soothe my skin for the minute before i go ahead to tinting my eyelashes and brows okay moving on to tinting i use the thousand hour lash and brow dye in the shade natural black now i probably shouldn't be using this on my brows since it's black but eh, fight me. Anyways, I am going to be using coconut oil as my guard. I didn't have any Vaseline, so I'm just applying this to the areas that I know might get some dye on them so that I can swipe it off and protect my skin. Anyways, I just follow the instructions and mix it as directed. Look at me trying to get 10 drops perfectly of the developer. <laughs> It's like impossible but anyways mix that up and it's kind of difficult to mix up but you'll get used to it it just takes a little minute now when you're done mixing it should look something like this and I like to grab a spoolie I'm pretty sure this was in the kit and I just like to apply it like mascara so I curl my lashes and I just apply it like mascara but you have to be really careful if you get this in your eye you will cry you won't go blind, I promise you that, but it will hurt like a bitch, okay? Just don't do it, okay? Just be careful. They usually come with um under eye pads, but those were so annoying when I first started doing this, so I just apply it like this. Honestly, the look it gives me, I just love my eyelashes being tinted. It just adds something to my face. Anyways, I like to clean up any little mistakes I've made with a q-tip it's easy since we've already put the coconut oil on so it's gonna easily swipe off for my brows I like to just grab a makeup brush and fill them in with the dye and just create a shape that I want so basically just fill them in create the shape you desire doesn't matter if you muck up because as you'll see in a minute, I'm just gonna clean it up. Like, you've probably had your brows tinted or you've seen someone get their brows tinted. They usually just clean up the tint and create a nice shape. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that on for a minute and then go ahead and swipe it off with a cotton pad. I leave this on for a short amount of time because I don't want jet black brows. I just want to darken them. And yeah, I leave my lashes on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll wash those off. the same cleanser as before we're just going to be removing the excess dye from our brows and lashes we removed most of it before just to reduce us getting it in our eyes when we actually wash it off 
So yeah, after all that skincare, I like to put on a soothing mask. This is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Soothing Mask. It's purple. I'm pretty sure it has like marshmallow root or something. And as you can see, I've gotten into it. And yeah, it's just a nice mask. It's very soothing. And I like the color. It's pretty. Five minutes later. After I've washed my face again, I like to go in with some niacinamide from The Ordinary. All I can say is thank you Hiram Skincare because this product has changed my life. I mentioned it in my last skincare video. It is a game changer, you guys. It helps reduce breakouts and also redness in the skin don't mind the hair on my finger but yeah i absolutely love this product it is so good so i after that sinks in then i like to go ahead and use the rosehip and jojoba oil from earlier just give a good glow and hydration to my skin just pat that in now i haven't really found a eye cream yet but right now I'm just using the caffeine solution 5% from The Ordinary and it just helps reduce puffiness and discoloration in the eye area but I do need to find a good eye cream for me before it's too late <laughs> At this point of the video, my phone just gave up and just stopped focusing on me, but it doesn't really matter because we're done with this video anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Just a self-maintenance routine that I do every month to maintain my brows, lashes, and skin. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and give me a big thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. Just do it. Just that little, that little that little that little just do it i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are safe i'll see you in the next video bye guys oh i can't do it wait